Hello, in this video we're going to start looking at variables and variables are one of the most important basic building blocks of computer programs. So we'll get started with them here. I've created a project called Integer Variables. I've given it a, um, a class called app which has a main method and I put one statement in there, it just says hello. So um, you should try that for yourself and check that you can run it. And then let's add some more code to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually click after the opening bracket here and hit return a couple of times just so that I can get a couple of blank lines above this statement and after the opening curly bracket. And here I'm going to type, well, we need a name for our variable and we need to think about what it's actually going to refer to. A variable is... Um, it's kind of a way of referring to some sort of value or some sort of entity that can change as your program progresses and that's why it's called a variable because it varies. Let's imagine that you keep cats and you've got some quantity of cats in your house. Uh, so what we want is a variable that can hold the number of cats we've currently got Maybe um, maybe sometimes your friend takes some of them or, uh, you know, you, you acquire more cats. So the number of cats that you've got can change. Okay, so I'm going to write here int and then a space and then cats and then a semicolon. Uh, so what's going on here? Well, first of all, let's deal with this yellow warning. So you see this yellow underlining here. And in the margin, there's a little yellow icon. It's like a light bulb with an exclamation mark in this, this version of Eclipse. If I hover over it, it says the value of the local variable cats is not used. What it's telling me is that I've created a variable, a thing called a variable, and uh, I'm not using it. And that's true. So warnings are things that you might want to pay attention to in your program. You don't really want to have any warnings in your program when you run it. But unlike an error, a warning won't stop your program actually running. So I can actually run this program still. It, it does actually run. Um, so if you see a red icon here, well, there's red underlining, that's an error. And an error is, is a problem. It will stop your program compiling. You won't be able to run it. But this is just a warning, so we can run it. Okay. Um, now, what have we done here? Well, this is a statement, finishes in a semicolon. And we've essentially said that it, it's a bit like creating a sort of bucket in this case. Um, it's a bucket big enough to hold um, numbers. And it's the right type of bucket for holding numbers. If you wanted to hold text or something, we'd need something different. So um, int is, uh, we call it the type of the variable. And int is a primitive data type, we call it in Java. And cats is just a name I've made up. To It's like sticking a label on a bucket and writing cats on it. So um, we've got our bucket, which can hold numbers because we've used the keyword int. And we've stuck a label on that bucket called and written cats on it. Int is short for integer. And integers, integer just means a whole number. It can be positive or negative but it's a number. So we can assign a value to that. Let's do this. So I'm going to go to maybe the next line and write cats equals seven, semicolon. What have we done now? Well, we've taken the number seven and we've stored it in this variable. Or we, we say that we've assigned the value seven to this variable. And it's like taking the number seven and putting it in our bucket. This is going to seem confusing at first, but after you, after you practiced it a bit, it won't be. And finally, let's output this value. So I've got system.out.print line here, and I'm going to get rid of this text. So get rid of the stuff in the speech marks. So it looks like this. And then between these round brackets, I'm going to type cats. So we're saying display the value of this variable. Let's click run. 
And then it says there in the console, it says seven. So just to go through that again quickly, um, we wanted a variable that can refer to a number and um, we've written int, that's short for integer, because we want to create some space in the computer's memory essentially that can hold a number. And this, this process here, we call it declaring a variable. And really it's like creating a bucket of the right size and type to hold a number and then sticking a label on it and writing cats on that label. Here, we've assigned a value to the variable, and that's a bit like taking the number seven and putting it in this bucket. So we say that we've assigned a, val assigned a value to the variable cats, and it's we that value is seven that we've assigned. And then finally, we've printed the value, so that comes out on the console. Try this for yourself. Um, the order matters. You've got to have these in the right order and check that you can get this to work. And then we'll see what we can do with variables. So until next time, happy coding.